What's going on here? Did I get like auto? No, nope. it's just oh, it's just the pause menu. It just looks like the start menu. I forgot. <laughs> I was away for a bit, so I thought maybe they like logged me out for an activity or something. Is what came to mind. But no, I'm just a dumb. It's funny, they gave me a whole day to sprint, so I kind of thought that it was like the door was on a timer or something. But I guess it just stays open. This is the first room they teach you how to dodge. Looks like it. <laughs> this person's pointing at the tutorial, which is funny. Not going that way. That's a nowhere. There's nowhere there. Hello, spooky cloud. You know what? It's gonna piss on our parade. How do I get in there? JCPD. Go. It's arrow elevator lock. Are you playing that if I go take the elevator, I can then go here? These are like. This is interesting. Instead of doing like the words people use in Dark Souls, it seems like you can put piece together phrases in the form of a series of symbols or something. <laughs> and like you can take that series of symbols to uh, sort of communicate an overall message that you can interpret. That's interesting. What do is bad? Does The fuck? The X made me worried. Also, the vortex made me worried. A girl's toy. Can you hear me? Go to Fort Nixon. Find the plane. Find out what happened to Athena. Omni cells represent the ammunition for most of your drone modules. You only carry a limited amount of time. I mean, it's just picked up when it limits to reach while well, but automatically baked, so that, yeah, it's normal. I gotta see, like, can I deal with the fucking visuals or something? Like, gamma correction. Maybe? Gamma's usually not what I'm going for. I'm usually going for brightness. Yeah, gamma's just making the white whiter. Not what I'm going for. Their brightness? No? They decided this is the level of visuals that they're going for. None of those sound sound like they should be affecting that. Huh. I'm just like so much of the screen is black all the time. Maybe most of the game won't look like this after the intro or something. Pick up. Oh. Oh, I'm just picking up Omni Cell straight out of them. I thought I was gonna pick up the whole boxes for a second there. So you press Y to deploy your drone, then you press Y again to fire. Hi. Pew! Damn. Pro shit right there. Hello! Can you hear me? Hi. Oh, this. I think he's about to say something and then he stopped. Because I killed them already. Hello. Oh, that's the running hallway that I was in before. This is the lift. Who? Whoa. Didn't we, like, latch onto rails in the first game or something? Uh, almost looks like a rail. No, it's like an energy. It's like an energy lift thing. A man cannon. It's a dick joke that Halo had. There was just a dick joke in its uh, terminology. The man cannon. Introduced in Halo 3. <laughs> okay, yeah, this will probably be better now. We'll be outside. So we're going to downtown Jericho. We're going to be looking for Port Nixon over there. I imagine the sun is up. 
The lighting's a little better, perhaps. Who are you? Are you the guy from the first game? Who are you? DLC content activated. Apparently. So up on the D-pad will switch between all your favorited weapons, apparently. Well, that's a lot of DLC activation that's happening. Can I talk to him after it's gone? I... <laughs> How much DLC is there? There's a fire burning in your eyes, Acolyte. I haven't seen anything like it in a long time. The city is dying. The court is our last safe haven. Join my brethren and take back control. It's now or never. Did you just call me an Acolyte? I don't know who you are, dude. Don't pretend I'm with you. Did you see that monster down there? I can see your confusion. You must have been locked away for a long time. You'll be in for a rude awakening. The world has changed in a heartbeat. I'd explain more, but it's best to witness the new order with your own eyes. Why did you help me? I belong to the Children of the Spark, a small but growing church dedicated to a great cause. We're always on the lookout for recruits like yourself. Someone willing to get their hands dirty for the greater good. Journey forth and find the court, where our prophet, Brother Eli, will welcome you with open arms. See that giant octopus? Right under its tentacles, you'll find safe shelter. What happened to this city? You must have been in there for a very long time indeed. You'll see the awful truth soon enough. Anarchy reigns supreme on our streets. People fear the new dawn that's upon us. The government built a wall around us to hold back the inevitable. They reject the change that comes with the nanite swarm. This plague is not what it seems. Humanity is ascending. We are the progenitors of a new race. Where the hell am I anyway? You're staring at Jericho City, Acolyte. At least what's left of it. They named the city Jericho. And then they built a wall. <laughs> I love Jericho. 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 When the walls came tumbling down. Brother Eli will reveal your destiny. Ah. Uh, is that the wall? I guess. Seems to only cover some directions. In this technology era, I'd kind of think that there'd be like a... I don't know. That, that city's too deep after, after that point, isn't it? Uh, kind of thought they'd use like, I don't know, like an energy field? Or something? In this technology level we're at with this, this place? Is a physical wall going to hold back a nanite swarm? Aren't they... Like, they're it's like trying to hold back bugs by making a wall. Oh. That looks not contained. That looks like it's in the sky. That's concerning. So, the nanites are changing the humans. And this guy's just like, yeah, fucking take me. We are the new world order, or whatever. Join the spark. Yeah, it's a bit of- Oh! oh I used, did I use it correctly? Because I, I definitely thought I died. <laughs> that scared me. Lost your way. Maybe I can help. You also friend? Didn't strike first, huh? Wise choice. Although these days I wouldn't blame you. There aren't a lot of good people around Jericho these days. Can't help but wonder whose side you're on. Does my answer make any difference? Think I'm joking? These streets are filled with scum. So what side are you on? I'm one of the good guys. You'll be one of the dead guys soon if you don't upgrade your pitiful equipment. Trust me, I know my stuff. Upgrade? How? Where have you been all your life? It's survival of the fittest out here. If you get in a fight, the winner takes all. 
See that med bay right next to me? This is where you take your spoils to craft and upgrade equipment. Maybe you should give it a try. Here, take these parts and give it a go. What are you doing here? Beats me. I should have been smart enough to leave when there was still time, but I got inconvenienced. Helping people is kind of what I do. Besides, I still have some unfinished business here. Let's leave it at that. What's your name? I might tell you one of these days, if you live long enough. You're kind of mysterious. Just like you, then. Let's be glad we got out in time and keep it at that. I've been to a lot of hell holes lately, but this one wins hands down. Damn. I just got a lot of items. What? Oh, I thought he was attacking me. He, that looked like a jump attack. <laughs> like, that did not look like he was I didn't. I didn't even know the zipline was there. Which you can go up, apparently. So that's a cool trick. Uh, I don't think I have that trick. But... Are we gonna get... I'm looking forward to us getting a bunch of weird Metroidvania tricks. We've already... Yeah, lifter hook missing. Hmm. We've already established that I early on I need to gain the power to open doors by getting a rig. That, that was pretty start straightforward and starting thing, but... We need an EMP thing to open some doors, and now we need a hook to go up these. That's interesting. That could make navigation really engaging. The question is, can I tell where the fuck I am this time? Because I played the first game, and you gotta say, being inside of a weird warehouse the entire game, it gets really fucking hard to tell where you are ever. <laughs> I was, I was, I got so lost in some of those levels. It was not an easy time. So let's upgrade my weapon. I like the spear so far, so why not just go ahead with that? Now I need two. No, I don't need any Mark Ones anymore. So I need now I need three Mark Twos. So it's a pretty straightforward upgrade system, looks like. And we don't have what we need to upgrade my uh, healing item, which it would give me more pre charges. A banner from another player has appeared. <gasps> Le gasp! How, how exciting! Human smile, thumbs up. Okay. So we are here. That's interesting. We are in the city side of the east side. Port Nixon, Gideon Rock. I mostly don't care about my destination as much, I just want to explore. Oh! Ow. Shit. Nope, shit. Most enemies can get enraged during combat. Their health bar will flash while the status is active. And enraged enemies are much less likely to be staggered by incoming attacks. Huh. Ooh! What did I get? I'm not really sure which part of the body I, I did. I wasn't really doing limb selecting. I need to be better about that probably. Just limb selection during combat is awkward. But I don't love that system. I would kind of prefer just focus on. Excuse me. I kind of just want to fight. I don't really want to think that much about like how how can I do this fight differently to get better loot as or afterwards? Because I'm like a little focused on the not dying. Because one of the core aspects is to make the is that the combat's hard. That's just kind of core to this like subgenre, is heavy consequence combat, where the risks are very much there. So as a result, target and cut armored body points. Yeah. On that level, I just I just want to I just want just want to focus on the difficult combat, <laughs> more so than the uh, the constant threat of uh, am I being efficient enough in like targeting the right limbs to be able to get the long term progression stuff. Welcome to Jericho City. Exploring our sprawling downtown can be a bit intimidating at first. There's always something fun going on wherever you go. You'll find street musicians, artists, newcomers, tourists, families, couples, wallflowers, the poor and the rich. In Jericho, we live together in harmony and respect each other's boundaries. So take a deep breath and enjoy the sight. 
And if you can't find your way, why not ask one of our friendly locals? Everyone respects each other's boundaries, especially the poor. The poor really have to respect the boundaries of the rich. <laughs> that list got weird. Couples? Wallflowers? The rich and the poor. I'm like, okay. Wow. Oh, two of them. Oh. I tried blocking the one attack and it seemed to, even though I pressed up, it seemed to do nothing. I'm a little confused. Bye-bye. There you go. Hello. Soon I'll have some actual equipment on me. That's the introduction of the backstab mechanic. I'm ahead of you on that one. Hey there. I would like to have your brain. It's full of things that are juicy and full, full of resources. Ow. Ow. Shit. Alright. I tried to parry those attacks, and I... I thought I did it right. But apparently not. <laughs> apparently I got very dead. Hello. Ow, shit. Ow. Shit. I really need to get the system under, under control. It does not come easy. Hi. Ow! Ow. I don't- I, I, I don't love holding X in the middle of combat. I very much want- I want a snappy confirmation, like, yes, I will now execute this person. But having to hold it down for, like, a full second and hope it works. It's like, oh god, oh god, please work, please work, please work, is definitely, like, a- It's a little panic moment for me. Oop. Got my stuff back. This guy's coming. Alright. They got his leg this time, I guess? There we go. Oh. That didn't execute correctly. Hey! Die. That wasn't very effective. Oop. Wow, he's slow. Probably because of the no armor, I guess. Okay. Poor guy. He could barely even do anything. That... Guys, dual wielding scary things, and he looks shiny. I don't like those things. If you hold things up, you charge it. Yeah, you charge up, and they're stronger against shields. They generate more energy, but they probably also cost more stamina. A little weird how that one guy was inside of a box earlier. Shortcut? Yeah, they're just giving me shortcut advice, which probably means this is a shortcut. Which is what I would like. Yes. I'll take that. Wow. We're actually getting a decent chunk of experience right now. Alright, let's try to make actual goddamn gear. Schematics are unlocked by cutting limbs. It costs tech, stra tech scrap. Slightly awkward to say. To In order to make tech scrap. It, it's, if, you have to say, if you keep saying it rapidly, like you, you trip on it. 
Uh, stuff's made by uh, by default to be rank one. You have to upgrade it. Higher level components broken down. Yeah, pretty intuitive. At the moment, I don't have uh, gear, so let's work on that. What slot is this? Okay. Oh, body gear. So it must be in chest. Yeah. Press two arm. That requires more than I. Unavailable. Oh, I don't have enough scrap for it. Gotcha. I was like, I have the. I clearly have the gear for it. What do you mean? <laughs> Did I just accidentally make two arm gear? Which one do I want it to be? Left right or, or left arm or right arm? <laughs> Gives you a bit of stability and a bit of attack speed. Reduced impact. Huh. It somehow makes my impact even weaker, which is bad because my impact's already bad. So now it's going to be more shit than ever before. Oops. Oops. Uh, inventory. There we go. I figured I had more of this by now. Maybe I can craft the other piece of gear. Nope. Uh, I'm short by a couple hundred still. I can upgrade some things, but not the weapons I currently have. Um, and that I'm currently using. I'll just bank this for now. And we'll spend my points. A little stamina. One of the big things is that as I level up, I'll have, I'll have slots for more of my items I'm using, because I definitely want to be able to equip as many of those implants as possible. So even if I don't always feel the change... Oh, that's two guys. Alright, I don't want to fight you both at the same time, so let's be careful here. Hey, buddy. Ow. That's what happened the first time, I bet. The, co the uh, animation takes too long. So if he doesn't stagger... Then I'm in deep shit. Oh. Why? Okay, I, I can't tell what's going on, honestly. I'm just not blocking any of those attacks. And I'm, I'm pressing the direction. But I'm somehow failing like three times in a row. Maybe it's stamina management? Obviously, when I'm looking at the uh, directional inputs that are straight from Age of Conan, uh... I'm not doing the best job necessarily at keeping out my stamina. So it's the troubleshooting is a little complicated at that point. A. Rude. Rude. That made me drone you. Yeah. You like this? You like this? Ow, 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 shit. Ooh, I just I just cut her in half. She's down there now. All right, my drone can learn how to throw Molotov cocktails. Of course, that makes perfect sense. Huh. Oh, I love that. I love that combo. Very satisfying. Looks like if you do a perfect parry, you have iframes, because that guy's definitely hitting me. But I was destroying his friend, so it didn't matter, apparently. Ah, uh, see? That's what I mean. The charge up is a little frustrating, because I'm like, okay, could chop his limb off, and it's like, no, you gotta stand still for a second for some reason. It's like, no, I really want you to do it. Please. Shit, I'm, out of, I'm probably out of stamina or something. Whoop. Ooh, got a red thing. What is red thing? 
improved transistors, scavenger's headgear. A key card, JCPD main entryway, this one? Ooh, is that a new spear? Looks like a new spear. If I can go in there, what's around here? There was a fire escape earlier I was definitely wondering how to get to, but I couldn't figure out how to like climb or anything, if you even can. Whoop. I just climb here? Left stick jump is an interesting call. How did I get up here? Yeah, there's a ramp over here. Yep. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Uh. There we go. There's like a weird arm over here. Do I have a reason to drop down? Not necessarily. Whoop. <laughs> that speed ramp. All right. Can I go this way? Yes. So this is a path into Port Nixon. So here's a direction to keep an eye on. Direction going off this way. That's the JCPD main entrance. Hmm, I don't think I can jump from there to there. Ah, there's a line going up there. That's probably how I get to the top of that one zipline from earlier. Well, that sounds reasonable. Should I go back for gear or should I push forward? So if I go back to craft, then I have to fight these guys again. I don't really want to. I do want a flashlight, though. Pretty please. The screen is black mostly right now. Not black, but it's closer than I want it to be. So I guess we're now going back to the previous building. So that's the police department, huh? Oh yeah, I guess it looks like a police department. I mean, I don't know what... It looks less like a jail at this angle. This is the first place I saw, I was like, this, isn't this a prison? Feels weird to call this JCPD, but yeah, I, I guess it is a prison and not a, uh... Not a, um... Prison. I mean, it's a, it's a... Fuck, I'm just having a stroke. What did I even say? <laughs> I, I literally... <laughs> I was, I was thinking about what I was looking at while saying something and literally lost track of what I was saying So I don't even know if I need to correct myself or not. Anyway, it's a police department I just thought it was a prison based on the first stuff we saw because of all the prisoners and you know Like there being two floors of walls of cells Maybe in a sufficiently large city the police department has like a interior that looks like a jail all right, well now the question of do I go back or not was basically made for me because all the enemies are back now. It's a little awkward. But uh, yeah, there was no reason to go in there because it was just back to the boss fight chamber from earlier. So it's just another interconnectivity option, I suppose. But it doesn't do me a lot of good. Oh yes, I would like armor. Thank you. And helmet. I do like having gear. How did you know? Sixty one stability, minus eight percent stamina consumption. I'll take it. And a head slot. Damage unarmored minus 3%. What does that mean? That's not what I want to do. Uh, there's no, there's no like, press a button to inspect what the stats mean button. Okay. 
It sounds like I do less damage against unarmored opponents, which is weird. Partial set bonus active. Ooh. Oh, the scavenger set, I guess? Eh, I have three pieces of scavenger's gear. Is that what the... Okay. If I take you off... Yeah. There's like a plus sign surrounded by six little pips. And once I have three of them equipped, half the plus sign is surrounded, so three of the pips are colored. Because I guess, yeah, it makes sense. It'd be a six... It'd be a six-piece set overall. What I'm looking for is the part of the screen that tells me what the what the set bonus is. Oh, here we go. The comparison screen brings it up, at least. Partial set bonus. After performing a backstab attack, damage is increased for a very short time. How short? How much is it increased? Uh, full set bonus. Performing a finishing sequence restores health. Yes. That's what I want. I think I had that as an implant last game, where, uh... Yeah, like you do, you do the big X, whenever you do the hold X moves on somebody, you end up uh, healing as a result. A little bit of life leech. Anything to keep you going is good. Energy decay minus 25%, so it just keeps your bar active for longer. I think I want this directional block analyzer. That's interesting. It's, uh, it's feedback that helps you survive. <laughs> like it's just an on-screen prompt that tells you which way they're attacking. But it costs you points you could be spending on stats. So it's a real choice. Like, do you want to play on hard mode, but be able to uh, not have to deal with that awkward? Like, like you, you have to you have to be able to in, you have to interpret their attacks visually and be able to tell the timing of them and what they're doing, while also, but like they need to be able to get better better stats along the way too. So Benjamin's at Gateway Bravo. The witness. He just wants me to craft or upgrade at the med bay. I have crafted or upgraded gear at the med bay. I think he, maybe they mean craft and upgrade? No, I have crafted and upgraded actually, so I don't, I don't know why it's still incomplete. This, this one's a check mark, so I guess it's done. Meet brother Eli at the seaside court. So he, that, that must be the Kraken DLC. There's a giant octopus in the background, and that guy was just weirdly there to tell me to go check that place out. That must be that. So that's the DLC. That's why it weirdly feels like there's like a sequence of different tutorial characters back to back, kind of. Keep that stuff stashed. I believe we still can't upgrade anything. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, those are all the. That's all the weapons I'm not necessarily using. What is this? The Velo Saw. The one I haven't tried yet. Also the equalizer? Did I try this already? I think I did. I'm often not cra oop. I'm often not crazy about big slow weapons. Oh yeah! <laughs> it's a little saw. Oop, that's destructible. Evidently. The scout, the salvaged gouger. It's a sharp thing at the end of a stick. Ooh. They'll never be ready for me. Let's see if I can just get away. So I think they got rid of one of my healing items completely. I think he used to have like a Estus hey, flask supply. Uh oh. This, uh, do, they, do, they, do they keep chasing me? I think he used to have like an Estus flask style thing that had limited uses per checkpoint. Are they coming after me? I think they had stopped. Uh, I think you had like a X number of uses per checkpoint thing 
and then a separate healing thing that was based on how much energy bar you had, and that was like the one you could kind of keep building up by performing well. We might still find the other one later, but I feel like they might have kind of streamlined it down to this execution system where you have to like fight well in order to heal, which will definitely make things go one way. So we're, we're currently... Oh yeah, there's, there's JCPD in the bottom corner, so we're at Terminal Z. We're on our way to Port Nixon. We're on the boundary of the map right now, it looks like. Oh yeah, that's Port Nixon. Friend or foe? Fuck. They're level three, or armor three, something three. They don't, what, can we talk about it? Does that guy have a gun? But that's cheating. Friend? Huh? Not friend. Oh god. Alright. Huh? That's just a gun. That's a problem. Some powerful enemies require more than one successful directional block and a stagger. Oh goody. Oopsie. Wow. Well, that's not very nice. Is there a different direction to go? Than I've seen so far? Because that guy seems like a pain in the ass to fight. Why do I keep holding B? Oh, yeah. Because in Dark Souls, B is your running button and dodging button and so on. Not A. I was wondering why I was reflexively pressing the wrong button sometimes. Hey, someone's sneaking up on you. I sometimes would I sometimes would hit the healing button in the middle of combat when I had no reason to. And I'm I'm only I'm realizing now that it's like, oh, that's the uh Where's my stuff? Oh wait, I didn't have any stuff. <laughs> there was no consequences to that death as far as I'm aware. Hmm. Down staircase? Is down staircase even a, uh, an option? Maybe here? No. Hey, someone's sneaking up on ya. I'll see you guys later. I wonder how I get that hook. Cause there's a bunch of indications of the hook. Just kind of everywhere. Hello. All right, well, now I've aggroed everything, which is just not a great approach. Hello. Ooh, stuff. No? Hey, guys. Oh, yeah, this is a direction. Oop, not that way. Ooh. Uh, there's a door I can only open from the other side. It's a little bit of a problem for me because I'm under attack. No, I'm not. He's gone. He's done. He's done. Shit. You can only open the door from the other side. What a classic. This door doesn't open from this side. Use. But in this case, it's agony, because you can just you can just see the button. You can just see it right there. Did I get lost already? Where can I go? Do I actually have to fight my way past those guys? Am I intended to, like, grind until I'm strong enough to beat them? Maybe I can beat them already. Maybe I just suck. But I definitely, like, see the the challenge level there, and I'm definitely like, hmm. Chop chop. Might help to get fully geared, at least. I need to chop legs up, it looks like. I need to focus more on that. I'm under-utilizing the leg market right now. How do I get up there? Hello? Ow. How do I- there we go. Target his leg. Ow. I'm apparently just choking hard. There we go. I can't chop, I don't have enough energy. Hmm. 
get some scrap though, I guess. That's something. Pew, 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 pew. Now you dead. The end. Hi. Huh. Turned around. <laughs> you can quickly use up your chance to huh, react. That's all my stamina. Ah, I forgot to switch to legs. Man. Your brain is split a lot of different ways during these fights. You're trying to target the right limb while countering the directional attacks while also being ready to have enough energy to hopefully heal if you need any healing, then also have the energy to do the executions because you can't do the executions without the right amount of energy. Wait, this door can't be open from the side? That's a... Th I think you already explained... I feel like you already explained the idea of not being able to open from the side when you gave me a door that only had a button on the other side. But there's also a variant where the button is on both sides? That seems a little weird. Wait, we're not in chop mode yet? I didn't get to chop him, but I have the energy. Aww. Okay, so now this is, uh, I think this is the one loose end. There's, there's this bridge with the scary guy on it. Is he harder? Okay, he's level two. I guess that's easier. Still a little concerned, though, so fuck this guy. Oh, shit. Are you running from me? Ah. Shit. Fuck! <laughs> he's, his attacks are so delayed. What? There we go. Get out of there. Yep. Oh! I got weirdly rotated against the wall. Shit. That's just kind of the forward momentum of my attacks. This, uh, this combat, this combat's gonna have a learning curve to it. It's not, it's not coming easy. Hup, hup, shit, you turn around. What? No, shit. I'm having trouble getting a read of the timing of my attacks and stuff, because that affects whether or not you can counter people. It encourages me mostly to just not fight at all, and just wait for the counter, and then start fighting. Because if I'm already fighting at all, then I- wow, I do not like when that happens, by the way. If you combo them hard enough, sometimes you, t you get- your hitboxes, like, merge and switch, and you end up behind them. And that's not a- that's not always a position you want to be in, is behind the enemy. Like, switch- switch places with them, and then be stuck, like, behind their, uh... Switch the- get the leg, there we go. You don't really want to necessarily be, like, behind them, jammed against the wall. Hello. Leg is mine. Thank you. My leg. Or arm? What did I get? Oh, I just cut him in half. Okay, we got a few set pieces though. I can probably finish the set. Let's try to beat this guy. My stuff! Huh. There we go. Okay. Hi. Pew, 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 pew. Oh! There we go. It's it's reasonably satisfying when you pull it off, though. It's an interesting combat system. I'm just definitely struggling. So far, it seems like the answer. Oh, that's how you pre-charge. 
You have to use it up. I thought it was, I thought it said automatically. Isn't that the word, isn't that the terminology they used? Automatically consume a battery to pre, yeah, it says that, that's automatically means I don't do it. If I'm pressing B, that means manually. That's the opposite of automatically. <laughs> you have to manually pre-charge your uh, implant, not automatically. Or maybe it's not working, or maybe I don't... I don't understand. I'm, maybe I'm wrong about something. Automatically consume a battery to pre-charge the currently selected injectable implant right before it would run out. See, I feel like that hasn't been happening, but also currently selected injectable implant. I mean, it's there, right? It's right there, so like it must be the currently selected implant, right? I... am confused. I think I currently have the selected implant, like that must be the one it means, right? But it doesn't seem to be automatically charging it? I don't think it- I don't think I've ever had a pre-charge until just now, even though I have an implant that says it'll do it automatically. I don't know, I, I, I can't tell if I'm misinterpreting something or what. Uh, did it? Hello, secret area. Hello, spooky poster. Hello, fire escape. Just saying hi to things today. Listen, it's my brand. Uh, I could jump onto that. I don't think I want to, but I can. It may not serve any purpose. Increases maximum omni cells. When a battery is filled, stamina regeneration is increased for a short time. That sounds good. Reduces the rate at which energy bar drains. Alright. These are all pretty good starting abilities, though. I want... yeah. I like being able to see their health bar. I like having the block analyzer. I'm not sure if this one does anything, though. Yeah, this one costs 5 power. This one costs 3 power. My power consumption's already capped out. Alright, well, so we're not... Probably not doing that right now. If I find myself at a med place, I may be able to upgrade the next tier of my stuff. Hello. EMP spot. Can I map these or something? I don't see an interaction. I don't think I can. It would definitely be nice if I could map if I could map these somehow, although I think there isn't much of a map in the first place. Besides those those boards you see here and there, so. Just gotta try to remember all these spots. Hey guys. Pew. Pew, 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 pew. He just kind of ignored me, so I felt offended, so I shot him more. That'll teach him to ignore me. I say acknowledging the absurdity of ever saying, that'll teach him when I kill someone. How teaching works. Oh, hey, that, oh, this, you can go there. There's a little door over there. There's a whole staircase. Mmm. I am intrigued when I see all these different paths everywhere. You have any loot? Not even any loot. Do you know how much I spent killing you? You cost me a fortune. Hi, buddy. Did he wait for me to my camera? Oh, no. Oh, cool. I can make it. <laughs> it looked a little weird, but I can make it. I didn't realize it was a point of no return, or it looked like a point of no return, so I was concerned and worried. Is there a plunging attack in this game? Let's find out. <laughs> yes. I think there was. I couldn't really see the camera angle, but I, I think it might have been a plunging attack. New implant. Physical aggression redirector. Ooh. Like Tai Chi or something? <laughs> Make sure that attacks always hit the targeted body part, ignoring swing directions. The damage dealt is reduced by 75% for attacks that would normally hit a different body part because of swing direction, though. Mmm. So that's acknowledging the fact that the way that your weapon swings does change which body part you hit, regardless of what you're aiming at. So that one lets you kind of phase through and hit the correct part anyway, but at 75% effectiveness, which is, um... Hmm. Potentially useful for farming specific body parts, but also... Uh... Bit of a, like, thing you can get around by just playing a certain way. Huh. Ah, shit. Fuck. They intentionally delay their attacks awkwardly, like, confuse me. <laughs> Whoop. 
Chop his head off. We're under attack. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew. Oh, he exploded. Oh my god. <laughs> was he throwing a Molotov or something? I... I, was, I, I wasn't expecting that. I feel bad a little bit. <laughs> I wasn't ready for him to just explode. His health was so full. <laughs> Ooh. Hmm, there's a lot of spots around here that look intriguing, but they all require me to fall down. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you can, you can access that all through there. Oh, staircase. I do feel better not dropping down if I can avoid it. They don't have to be surprised. It's good to have a uh, direction of retreat. You want a safe path of retreat if something bad goes down. As opposed to just like dropping down and being like, Ooh, I wonder what's gonna happen. Oh, they're in every direction at once. What? I guess I'm dead. Okay. One one weird poster was one thing, but now that's, that's a lot of weird posters. This is just like a whole thing, huh? I mean, that just looks like a character I was able to make in the character creator right there. But yeah, they're heavy on this lady. Like the transhumanism robo-arm lady. They want me to join her. That looks dark. Yes. That is a path, but it is dark. Do I have to equip a flashlight as like a... as like a... implant? Hi. Are you alone? Pew pew pew! Whoop! Ah, uh, didn't get- didn't get a chance to chop. Huh. Try to tell me about directional parries again. Ow! Oh, that hurts. Don't stand on that. There's a stat that's specific- okay. So that's like, plague zone, essentially. Like, there's a specific status effect that stacks on you, and then when it fills up, it does bad to you. So watch out. Nope, keycard needed. Does it turn green when I already have the keycard? Like, is it does it indicate that to me, I wonder? I want to go down here, but I also don't want to go down here. Shiny. There's colors. This door doesn't open. Okay. Uh... Hello, green guy. In the green zone. Yeah? Yeah? It's just... It's just a place that's hard to see in, and a dead end, apparently. Or maybe I'm missing something because it's hard to see. I don't know. <laughs> I don't... Maybe it's just a little preview, a little taste. I'm not entirely sure what they're going for. Okay. So now they want me to do a drop. Because that this area is walled off. What could go wrong? Kill me! Hmm. Am I at the top of a ladder right now? They can jump across or ride down. Oh, there's definitely something I want there. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. I definitely. So that it was. It was bleeping there. I just manually equipped that. The game, as far as I can tell, the game has not been, quote unquote, automatically, uh, storing my stuff. I have to do it manually. So I can't tell if that's. I can't tell if manually storing it is being no. I was about to say that I can't tell if manually storing it is what it means, and it's just a typo. But, like, my Voltaics already have a capacity, which which I would assume means that you can access that feature without using a secondary implant. So I think the other implant just isn't working. The one that says it's gonna auto, auto do stuff. I'll probably swap it out as fast as possible and see if I notice a change once I'm back in a safe place and... Also can switch to something that actually fits. Dude, this whole direction's just black. And like I can't I can't fix it with gamma. Because gamma just makes the game brighter, the screen brighter. Like already the game the blacks aren't black. It's like kind of a little too the screen's already like a little like like all the black is kinda of like a light gray. It's like you can't turn up the brightness. But I'm just like I 
Is the environment meant to be this dark? Oh, he doesn't see me. I couldn't tell which way he was facing? Die. If I fall in the water, do I drown? Hmm. Seems like a shortcut back to a previous area, right? So it's another chance to, like, loop back around, I think. Injectable already fully charged. Can I not equip a second one? A third one? I thought I had... Oh no, I saw, I saw that before. After an upgrade, it'll, it'll give me a third one. Yeah. So you see your three. Is there something worth three I can replace it with? I guess I might as well replace you with the physical direct, aggression redirector, even if I don't totally l love that one, because at least it'll do something, because it feels like the current one doesn't work. Unless I'm misinterpreting something. Oop. What was that? Implant circuitry. Hmm. <laughs> I jumped here. But I'm not sure if that's a good idea. The only way forward seems to be the uh, radio radiation. Can I walk in this water? Maybe? I don't see any reason to try, though. There doesn't seem to be anything I could get, so it's a, it's a pointless risk. Because it might be deeper than it looks, and then you just die or something. So I'm taking- I'm assuming that us being in rigs is the game's excuse to definitely make us drown if we go in water at all. Not that the games usually need a reason. They, most most video game protagonists are water soluble. Hey, that looks like a great shortcut. Yo, I thought we slip in the gut and drags us away to wherever. Come on, I don't see anyone who's been dragged away. It's safe to me. Let's go. Oh yeah, what's gonna happen? Oh, this is that door from. Oh, yep, yeah, that's the. Point, that's the doesn't open from this side door that does have an icon on both sides. And there's the squid. Squid, squid octopus. Are you friend? Friend? Goddamn AID goon said I caught the virus. <clears throat> Bullshit. <laughs> But they'll see. I'm far too sneaky to get caught. No, a shortcut back to the med bay? Bit of advice, because I like you. Upgrade your shiny stuff and you'll lead a longer, more productive life. I even know a secret path. It's right through the gap between the buildings. Maybe I'll just explore. I mean, you could also sneak through one of them scanner gates on the road to Babylon Gardens, but why would you? Seaside Court is the place to be. I ought to know. Goodbye. <laughs> Easy for you to say. Let's get this door open before I do anything else. Beep! There's my chance to get back. There we go. I guess that's the entirety of that character. He's just, he's just, man. A little let down. I was definitely felt like I was looking to like meet up with a new person. Like, oh, what's your story, buddy? He's just, he's, he's here, mostly. It's mostly his story. He's here to exist. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's another icon. And excuse me. Uh, oh, right, I came through here this life, didn't I? So there's no one here to fight. They're all currently cleared out. Let's see what I can do here. Uh, first off... Make sure I've used up all my- yep. I almost wish you could, like, auto-redeem these... ...when you're at a med bay. And just deposit them directly into your bank every time. Obviously, I don't want them to auto redeem the moment I pick them up because, you know, then you can lose it. Oh, that's interesting. The time it takes to deposit your tech scrap into your bank always takes the same amount of time. I thought it might take a while because I have so much more than before, but the circle always takes the same amount of time. 
Hmm. So I got my scavenger's gear. That's the vulture head gear. Partial set bonus increases the amount of tech scrap gained when killing enemies. It's a grinding set. That's probably yeah. That's why it's called the vulture set. That makes sense. Full bonus removes the battery cost for performing finish finishing sequences. Oh, that's a pretty good set you got there. Shit. Minus 10% damage unarmored. I mean armored. Minus 3% damage ar unarmored. Uh, I think they're saying that you do less damage, basically, right? Seems to be the implication. Much more stable, though. And more resistance to poison and nano. Hmm. It, that's, that's definitely tempting. A free free tech scrap is useful, and uh, having finishing sequences just be always available instead of having to ha always have a bar open means I can just just disregard it. I can just throw all of my energy into like healing and whatnot, and not have to worry about this weird thing where these two things fight over the same resource, which can be awkward. I need like two legs and two arms, right? That's the idea. Oh. Zero, zero, three, five. Oh. Your equipment and your implants fight over the same resource, which is your power consumption. Yeah. My healing item and the bars showing up above people's heads are free. Those pieces, the, that interface and that healing. Uh, the part that lets me see directions costs five, <clears throat> and this one costs three. So I want to unequip you then, because I want I want gear. And these cost three. Let's uh, reduce stamina cost of evading and running, which I'll get double that once I have both of them equipped. Some stability. But yeah, like, I'm- I'm capped out. I need more power. How do I increase my power consumption cap? It's just- it's just by leveling up, I think, isn't it? I should probably- I should see how much I can level up right now. A fair bit. Oh yeah, that's how you get your- your core up. So there we go. Yes! Just went and gained five levels. I got an implant slot, which isn't that useful because I I don't have enough cower, power core, core... core power to, uh, fit it all. Alright, so now I have five more. An arm... oh, an arm costs five. And a leg costs three. Haha. <laughs> I guess. We now... now we know the cost of an arm and a leg. It's, uh, five levels. So now I've got the full set, which is what I was going for. So now that gives me the... Yeah. Heal whenever I use a finisher, which is good shit. I've got a- I'm, I'm fully equipped, so now I don't have a bunch of just straight-up empty equipment slots, so that's always nice. Yes siree. Just gotta actually spend those points now. If I put all ten points right now into stamina, it's just... I would get to 190 from a starting point of what was originally like, we got 150. That's a decent chunk. This is like really fucking boring loser mode, but like... Why not just level them all e equally? Because like, battery efficiency and health seem really important to me. But like, I don't want to I don't want to neglect stamina, obviously, and I, I just can't help but think that like... I don't know. We'll see when the videos come out and the comments come out. See if they have- maybe they have insight on this. But I can't help but feel like all of these resources are really important. And they made the level ups, the, the leveling up of these three stats so streamlined. Now, because there's only three stats total, that I can't help but think that like these are, they streamlined it down to the point where it's like there are three stats that are universally important no matter what you're doing with your character. So you're just going to value all of them. 
as opposed to like games that have like 10 stats and you like pick out like the three to six that you like specifically value and a few you're throwing in the garbage but then you might value different ones on a different character or something just got a few feelings that um that could not have worked out per more perfectly i had ex just the right amount of tech scrap to level up and i i crafted all the remaining equipment slots i needed and had enough levels to equip them like that's <laughs> That's just luck. Why well, I don't have a helmet on. Is it because I'm... Where'd it go? Uh... Oh. The right stick. There we go. <laughs> I wasn't equipping my shit because you have sets. I was like, what happened? Alright. There we go. Progress. 